John, another huge win on the road on Saturday um, against some, some tricky opponents that we've had difficulties against before. Um, how crucial was it to, to get the three points on Saturday? Yeah, going into the game, we looked at it as a, a massive game. Airdrie had a right good side. And in the two previous weeks, they gave uh, Dunfermline a real run for their money. And I think everyone... Uh, I was at the first game, the 4-3 game, as I mentioned in another interview. And uh, there's no doubt that 3-0 up, they were by far the better team and deservedly 3-0 up. However, you know, uh, on the decision of a, a sending off and a penalty award and scoring the penalty being 3-1 uh, up against Dunfermline, Dunfermline rallied uh, and did ex exceptionally well. And then at East End Park, uh, again, Airdrie were probably the better team for a, a lot of the game, but uh, again, Dunfermline managed to, to get back into it. So, Airdrie had played particularly well. Uh, they are a good football team. They've been good. I uh, uh, watched them at the end of last season in the playoffs, and uh, you know they, they, they played very well uh, last season as well. So, absolutely, yeah, that was uh, we looked upon this game as being a massive game, and to do it in the way that we did with regards to coming back from being a goal down. Uh, potentially going behind again from a penalty kick, but thankfully Big Brian saved it and then really kicking on in the second half to, to win the game. Speaks volumes for the players in the run that they're on. Uh, all sorts of different qualities that they've shown on this run. And uh, we look to continue it. We're now at home, back at home. Yeah, we, we've had some amazing results away from home. Uh, but we're back at home. The last home game against Alba, we won 1 0. And now we have Peter Head, who are also fighting at the bottom of the league themselves, them and uh, Clyde at the bottom. Uh, they're trying to get above Clyde. And obviously we're trying to keep this run going. So, you know, that's exactly what we intend to do. We've got to apply ourselves as much as if we were playing, you say, Dunfermline. We've got to apply ourselves as much in this game against Peter Head. Uh, you get the same three points for beating Peter Head as we do for beating Aloha, Airdrie or whoever. And so it's very, very important. Uh, we cannot be complacent in any way, shape or form. We've got to be at it. We've got to start the game well. We've got to put Peter Head un under pressure, put them right on the back foot and in an ideal world, you know, get the first goal and, and build on it. Uh, you tend to find uh, the underdog in which, you know, let's face it, Peter, uh, Peter Head will be the underdog. They're away from home, they're at the bottom of the table and they're playing a team who's flying then uh, they will look to, to make it difficult and probably try to score and hold on to a lead if they can. So we've got to make sure that that's not the case. We've got to make sure that we're very much on the front foot and putting them on the back foot and uh, taking our chances when we uh, when we create them and, uh, you know, trying to, trying to kill the game off as early as possible, albeit that we, on the other hand, we still need to be patient. Uh, and it doesn't really matter in whatever minute it is when we win the game as long as we uh, play well enough and perform well enough and take our opportunities when they come to win the game. Well, surely we will, given um, how successful we've been so far um, in 2023. Um, I think you mentioned uh, in your interview after the Airdrie game that that's 21 points from a possible um, 21 um, in this qu quarter, so probably couldn't have asked for a much better start to the year. Um, what do you think that's that's down to, and how how important is that um, in terms of momentum going into um, the, the the last few months of the season? Well, just clarifying that because obviously it's, you can probably look at some people look at the game of the Aloha game. The Aloha game was from the previous quarter, so actually in this quarter of nine games, we've played seven and we've won these seven games. Uh, that Aloha game was from another quarter. So yeah, no, it's an amazing. Uh, Forum that we're in, it is. Uh, we've got an opportunity now to make it 24 points out of possible 24. We're at home, and we want to make sure that we do that. Uh, yeah, it's been important uh, from our last game of last season at home uh, against Queen of the South, where we went out here, where the run started basically then. And it picks up momentum, and as a group, as a, the whole uh, football department, uh, very much enjoying the work that we're doing. We're enjoying winning games. We're enjoying each other's, uh, you know, our company. You know, our training. The dressing room is buzzing. Everyone's on a high, and we want to try and keep that going for as long as we possibly can. So, the uh, focus is very much now on Peterhead. They're the next team that we've got to play. 
uh, and they stand between us and three points, and uh, we are going to be very much after the after the points uh, to take us into the Dunfermline game on a on a massive high. And going into that game, I know um, you mentioned uh, Brian Kinnear um, and how well he did when he made his debut against Airdrie. Um, and I've spoken to you in, over the last few weeks about certain players stepping up and, and giving you a bit of a selection headache. Possibly one more player to add to the mix there, um, given the, the performance he had against Airdrie. Yeah, absolutely. And as a manager, that's what you want. Yeah, you, we, we do have a headache, you know, uh, with regards to a number of players who are doing exceptionally well. Yeah, the whole team's doing well, but the subs that have been coming on have been doing well. Uh, and that's great. That's fantastic. You'd much rather have that problem is hitting your head against a brick wall because you can't even find out a winning solution or a winning formula. We've got so many different winning uh, you know, formulas. Uh, so we look for another one against uh, one uh, against Peter Head at the weekend. Yeah, I mean Brian was excellent. Uh, as I said on Saturday, and also said that I'm delighted that we've got two really good goalkeepers. I'm delighted that we've got so many attacking options. I'm delighted that you know our defence is well. You know, it's been doing particularly well. The midfield players have got loads of attributes, both in attack and in defence. So. I'm really happy with, with the squad in general. Our bench, our bench was very, very strong. We have got no new injuries. Uh, we don't have anyone back from the three players that we're waiting on now, which is Ryan Williamson, uh, Paul Watson and Ola Lowell. So, you know, they're, they're progressing. Uh, yeah, so we, won't have any, any, we don't have any new injuries, but we don't have anyone new available. But our bench is strong anyway. We've got loads, loads of talent on the bench. Uh, we've got two games very, very close, you know, game on Saturday, game on Tuesday, and we're probably going to need everyone uh, that we have you know, within the squad ready to play their part.